I got a question. Yeah. Are we almost done? Do you need to be done? No, we can keep going. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. If this is too big of a question, let me know. It's too big of a question. <laughs> Liz Lord says, how do you maintain a healthy relationship with your partner while being on the spectrum? A healthy relationship? With your partner. With my partner? Yeah. Which one? Well, we, we only have one partner right now, but I get, we're polyamorous, so there's always the possibility of more partners. Partners. I'm not dating right now. I'm working on myself right now. <laughs> I need to date myself for a while. I don't date Dave, but in addition to Dave, I don't think... Anybody should be subjected to this right now. I got some self-work. I shouldn't even be. Oh, <laughs> I got some self-work I need to do before I have any new relationships. You know, that's just me personally. Oh, that's, that's a me. light. I thought this was broken. I thought my iPad was broken, that light. Like, I thought it was like a, a screen problem. I just lost where I was on the comments. Derek, you're drifting away. I know. Swing back. Swim back this way. <laughs> Wait, swing? That's something else. <laughs> We gotta go back to the question again then. Back to the question. So how do you maintain a healthy relationship with your partner while being on the spectrum? I think with any partner, it's communication, which is sometimes harder and extra work being autistic, I think. Or just being different neurotypes. Or just because different people communicate differently. It can just be hard. I think communication is the biggest thing. Also the most, the, the most difficult thing at the same time. Like you have to work on it extra, right? Wouldn't you think? You answered it. I think that was for you. It was, it was for both of us. I, think about your relationships with other autistic people. Like, what do you think communication in those relationships has been a thing? Yes, communication and being honest with yourself. Yeah. Oh, being yeah. Being honest with yourself and what you need and what you can give. And what your boundaries are. That's boundaries. really That's a really big thing because I think a lot of autistic people, because we have... We've been told, oh, you don't need to like have that boundary. People are like, you're being, you're putting up too many boundaries or people are always asking us to bend our boundaries. So then we can be too permissive and bending our boundaries. It's not good. It's not good. And some people honestly need to ask themselves if they should even be in a relationship. Yeah. You yeah. know, like right now, I don't think I, like, even though I'm, you know, polyamorous, still polyamorous. I don't think I should be dating right now because like I've got some stuff I need to work through. I also barely have enough time for my one partner at this time with everything because I've got way too much on my plate, as always. Way too many things. So it's like adding another partner would do a disservice to my current partner. So even though, you know, I'm I'm always open to the possibility. But you got other partners things. here with the dogs. Well, the dogs, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Other responsibilities. Yeah, and... I was like, I don't, I, I'm, I've got, I've got, I don't, I don't have room. I would be neglecting. I don't have room. <laughs> I have to make time. That's another thing as an autistic person, I think, is like the special interests or anything I get hyper-focused on, like I get stuck on it and I can't let go of it. And I don't realize how much time is going into the thing. Like, like this morning I spent like, I don't know how much stinking time stuck on the history of this place we're staying at. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't let go of it because I had to understand because it was weird and my brain was like, had so many questions. I couldn't fucking let go of it. So my brain kept going back to it, back to it, back to it. You said the F word. Yeah, I did. And so <laughs> we can go beep. No, I don't know. But my brain kept going back to it. And it's like I was stuck on that for like way too much time. Mm -hmm. And it like took me away from things we need to be doing, blah, blah, blah. And that happens. Yeah, getting ready and a lot. setting things up. Yeah, but that happens a lot too. So it's like the hyper focus, like taking me away, I think is a problem for me. So it's like I have to be mindful of that. I think. Sorry, your stick just bothered me over there. Stick. Look where you left your stick. A popsicle stick. I left it there so Bear wouldn't get it when we were driving down that really bumpy ass road. <laughs> and it was like, I didn't want to get up and walk. Oh, you just touched my. Shh, don't do that. Swing! <laughs> <laughs> keep your hands up here so we can see them. Keep your hands, yeah. Keep them to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, did we answer that question? Uh, what was the question? What was the question? <laughs> yeah, do, you have, do you help maintain a healthy relationship? Do and, we? How do you maintain a healthy relationship? 
Well, being on the spectrum, or being autistic. Uh, okay. Uh, I guess, I don't know if we answered it. Just respecting other people's boundaries and their needs. Working extra hard on the communication piece and like meeting, you have to meet each other where you are. So it's like, if you have communication differences, you have to find out where those differences can meet in the middle. And if you're in a relationship, well, I guess it depends on what type of relationship, because it could be family or it could be your loving partner or work relationships. Well, this you know, says your was... partner. Partner? Okay, so here's the deal. Speaking honestly, if I love Lyric, I have to do whatever is in my ability to prove my love to Lyric. So I have to show Lyric, like I have to give all I have to Lyric. You know what I'm saying? vice versa, though. In the same, you know. One way street. Yeah, it's not it a one way street. There can't just be one person doing right. all the giving. So if David was doing all the giving in a relationship and I wasn't doing any giving back, like that would be a very unhealthy one side of it. It, so, it doesn't deserve to be a relationship, if that's the case. And you're probably going to resent the other person if you're doing all the giving and they're not right. giving back. So and it's you not shouldn't be, be in a relationship if that's the case. Yeah, and you also, know? you shouldn't be doing all the giving in a relationship. Right, but that shows you you shouldn't be in that relationship to begin with. Yeah. You know, I, I'm going to give 100%. Lyra's going to give 100%. There's no other way around it. I mean, you, you cannot. You cannot... Then, there may be a dip, like, you know, if I get burnt, like when I got right, burnt right, out. Right, right, right. Or, you know, you deal with, like, you have a loss and you deal with Right, but I have to be there for you as well. Exactly. Doing that. We're there like, for you're there for me when I fall, you know? Mm -hmm. You're there for me. You're, 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 you either pull the dogs away because they're too much for me. You do things that are going to help me when I'm in that, er in, in that area, right? Yeah. Same thing for you. If you're going whatever, then I have to pull the dogs away from you because it's getting too loud. Or I got to mm -hmm. cook something for you because you're hungry, <laughs> you know? Eat. You have to give 100%. Yeah. And if both aren't giving 100%, why are you in the relationship? Mm -hmm. That's all I got to say. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Cut. don't get no. stuck in a relationship where you're the only one doing all of it. Or, you know, you don't feel like giving. If you don't feel like giving to a relationship, then you're doing a disservice to the other person. What are you hanging on to? Yeah, well, Why yeah, are you hanging on? Let them go if you don't feel like giving. And, you know, yeah. And, and vice versa. That's you know? just our personal thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. Don't let someone take advantage of you. Yeah. In the relationship either, because that's that's not fair. I think too many of us get taken advantage of. You took advantage of me just now when you put your hand on my thingy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask me for permission. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>